how it started in Nazi Germany, by promulgating lies and inciting people to violence. Nassau County officials banding together to denounce a barrage of anti-Semitic literature discovered in Rockville Center, Long Beach, and Oceanside. Every resident should know that we are unified, unified in our disgust, unified in, in finding these perpetrators. Police say more than 30 families have reported receiving flyers, usually listing the names of prominent Jewish individuals in fields like banking and government. It was sent to harass and annoy, put fear into these people. That's exactly what it did by the amount of phone calls that we received. So again, Nassau County executives are searching for two white women between the ages of 25 and 30, possibly driving a white Prius who placed flyers on car windshields in Long Beach overnight Friday. Others were tossed onto lawns like newspapers in plastic bags weighed down with rice. Investigators believe the flyers are the work of a right wing extremist group called the Goyam Defense League, known for trolling and harassing Jewish people, according to the Anti Defamation League. But whether or not the flyers constitute hate speech remains unclear. This is not freedom of speech. This communication is meant to alarm people, to harass people, and to create an atmosphere of terror. The language on here is actually protected speech because it doesn't say anything hateful. It's just they try to make it look informational. But that to me looks like Nazi propaganda. What is clear is that this is not an isolated problem. Reports of anti-Semitic flyers are cropping up in Virginia, Florida, Illinois, Maryland, South Carolina, Kansas, New Hampshire, and Connecticut. A group of neo-Nazi demonstrators even rallied Saturday in Florida, reportedly waving Nazi flags and swastikas. According to the Anti-Defamation League, 2021 saw the highest number of anti-Semitic incidents on record since tracking began in 1979.